this weekend I should have really been preparing for next week's kickoff session of the Visual Thinking Workshop Cohort 1, but I spend my time procrastinating. And lucky for you, that means new features in Xcola Draw. I want to show you two cool new features that I call power tools. One is to import SVG files as Xcola Draw drawings, and the other is to force the embed size of images to 100%. I'll tell you a bit later why that is important. And while we are at it, thinking of the Visual Thinking Workshop, there is still an early bird pricing until 15th of November for cohort two starting in January. But let's look at the importing of SVG files. So let's imagine I want to include a dancing figure on my drawing. I open the noun project, I search for ballroom dance, I find an icon that I like, I click download on the noun project, I can download the SVG file even with a free subscription. And once I have the file downloaded, I head over to Obsidian and I simply drag my new file into Obsidian. Now, of course, I could insert this file like this. If I hold down the control, then I have the SVG file here, but I cannot edit this file. And instead, I'm going to use the new feature. You find it under the Obsidian menu and also in the command palette. And the new feature is this one right here, import an SVG file as Xcola Draw Strokes. Note that this is all experimental. There are some features that don't work, but generally I've been using this and I'm super excited about the feature. So let's look at this. I click this and I search for my newly downloaded file and I click insert. Now, what you can see here, okay, colors are slightly different but I can start to play around with this. So for example, let's make the lady red. Let's just find the, oh, let's close this. Let's make the lady red like this. And let's make the gentleman, for example, dark blue like this. And I think already you can see the power. Maybe we can make this a bit darker red like this and you can already see the power of this feature how you can start to customize the drawing yourself we can actually add back the kneecap of the lady if we want etc we can color their shoes to be black like this and we can color this shoe here to be black as well let me find the other shoe like that so let's color the shoes black and the gentleman will have black shoes as well and so on you get the idea so this feature i think is super cool it allows you to customize the svg drawing and then of course you can insert it wherever you like or you can even take this apart and you can take the guy and just use the guy if that's all you need, etc. You have full flexibility with the drawing. So the other feature I want to show you is the insert with 100%. So this is a bit more intricate feature and it will take a bit of time to explain how it works. So to get started, I need to get back to the story of how I create book on the pages. I go through the literature note and as I read the literature note, I start to create these individual pieces of drawings that will then be combined into a single big drawing. So let's say I have my first drawing here, deep work versus shallow work. I come over to my empty canvas and I insert an image and this was deep work versus shallow work like this and I insert it so far this looks good but then let's take another one let's take for example let's take a big bigger image that's going to help us so let's 
let's take this deep life is a life well lived so let's look at this let's insert image deep life well lived this is it so i insert this as well and then maybe i want to add some text with and so this is some additional this is some additional text and here the text has a size small and now this is where i want you to notice the issues that i'm facing maybe between these two images you don't quite see the difference but here you can see the difference that this is here small text size and here this as well is small text size but on this drawing they don't look the same now you could of course start to resize this so for the time being i'm going to delete that one you could start to resize this until the text size sort of looks the same and yeah i mean this is sort of a livable approach but what happens if you come in here and you edit and maybe i'm going to add this circle at the bottom if i come back that has now resized the text or the image again because when i insert an image it will keep its surface area and if you add additional bits the overall surface area of the image will stay the same so let me just show you if now i add this right here and come back the surface area of the drawing remains the same but the relative size of the objects on the image gets smaller and smaller now let me delete this mess from my image let's come back and again you can see that the size changes now if i insert this image again i'm going to leave this image right here and i'm going to insert the image again and this was deep versus shallow work and here it says if i hold down the alt while inserting so i'm going to press alt enter then it's going to insert it with a hundred percent scale so for the time being the two images look similar the actually this was slightly bigger i think or well no it's it's actually the same but we've been resizing this image so maybe let me delete it and let me insert it the old way so deep versus shallow so this is the regular insertion and then i would uh, try to resize it to match the size or whatever but here comes the interesting thing now if i edit the image maybe i'm going to again add my circle here and i'm going to add it here as well and i come back then you can see that this image is still at 100 percent so this retains its sizing and this image of course got smaller because the surface area stayed the same now there's one tricky thing so i can now delete this that if i change the size of this image visually i can still do this but the next time i open this drawing so i'm going to come over to markdown and come back it will be resized to 100 percent so when you insert an image with the force 100 percent then that image is always going to display at 100 percent now the let me just come here and again insert deep versus shallow work and let's put this image here the other bit i want to show you is that in the markdown view let's remove these bubbles here because i don't need that that i can also change an image to this 100 percent view in the markdown view so if i click open as markdown and i come down to my embedded files you can already see that i have this size 100 percent after my the name of my image so if i add it here as well 
and if I come back to view this as Excolitra, then this image is now forced 200% as well. And you can see that the text size now matches. So in summary, you will want this feature when you have a bigger image that you've decomposed into smaller pieces, like I do with my book on a page documents where I have all these smaller pieces as individual drawings in my literature notes, and then I combine them to tell a story on a book on a page. In that case, forcing the size to 100% by pressing, so let's just insert image and well lived. So here's a deep life is a life well lived. What you need to do is you need to alt enter when you embed the image and I managed to embed a different image. You need to deep life is a life well lived alt enter and then this is embedded with 100%. If you want to double check, you can come over here and you can see that the image is embedded with 100%. Similarly, I can embed images at 100% by dragging the image from here, holding down the control or shift on Mac, and then holding down the Alt key when I drop the image, and then this is now going to be inserted at 100% again. So the key is to hold down the Alt key and that will make your image to be at 100%. In a nutshell, those were the two features I wanted to show you. You can now convert SVGs into Excolidural drawings and you can freeze the sizing of images to 100%. Thank you.